All right, I'm back in my favorite park. I should just call this Gold Ring Park because we dug like 12 gold rings here just since last Labor Day. So we're almost a year. And I've got a lot of good things out of here. You know, some old coins, buffalo nickels, V nickels. I got my first ever shield nickel out of here this year. But I gotta admit, it's getting lean. I really hammered this park. But been here, yeah, maybe 10 minutes. And look at this. You got me a wheat penny. 1927. So, man, I guess there's still some good stuff here. I mean, there is still signals. But the problem is, is since I'm a gold ring digger, you know, I really have been stripping all the pull tab and foil sounds and even the zinc penny sounds out of here. So it is getting kind of lean. But, uh, I don't know, see if we can get a video today, see what happens. There's one good target. Whoa, now that's cool. That is a super antique earring of some kind. So this is coming up at 12, so I don't think it's gonna be anything precious, but see how the thing screws on there? <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's way old. I don't make them like that anymore. That's awesome. Alright, I guess we, we found a little nook over here. <laughs> There's still some good stuff. Let's keep going. I, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I dig so many pull tabs, I just generally don't show them. But just imagine I already dug 20-something pull tabs, probably. Alright, well, since the last time I turned it on, I've probably been an hour. He's been digging just trash, 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 but there's a bullet that hit here in the park. You know, usually you find drops, but not a lot of them that hit, so it's probably pretty old. <laughs> I don't think there's too many people up here shooting anymore. So this guy's been following me around, <laughs> the funny thing is. I don't know if you can see my little butt print here. I started thinking, I wonder where he went. <laughs> I was like sitting here eating my granola bar. I look down, he's like, seriously, like right against my butt. I almost sat right on him. But look at that. He made it. He's alive. All right, this is coming up at 14. I thought for sure I was digging a pull tab. He even kind of looks like one. But this is a really old ring, I think. Too bad it's missing the little gem. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't anything special, but made the ring a little nicer cool well hey at least we're getting some old stuff okay i got some crazy piece of jewelry this one also looks super old got like a diamond probably a fake diamond sticking out there looks like it might have used to have like a ton of them it's supposed to be like a sun oh all right it's a new one for me Anyway, that was kind of a 14. I'm almost done for the night, but I'll probably come back tomorrow and shoot another episode. Well, let's see if I can get anything on the way to the truck. Okay, well, this is some sort of a square. That's good. I just don't get it. Why is it so small? What are they using this for? Oh, little tool. Let me know if you know. Anyways, back in the park. Day two. I uh, just kind of working this big tree right here. I only have a couple hours, but we'll see if we can get something good. Alright. Got a little learning here. Pretty sure it's probably going to be fake. that one all the time one of these times though all right let's see what else we can get yeah for a second i thought i had a ring but <laughs> it's like a screw nut oh well let's keep going so this is just a regular nickel but kind of a heartbreaker because 
happened to pop out. I thought, oh man, I got me an old nickel, which it is, but it's 1940. So it's kind of a tweener in between a buffalo and a war nickel. All right, obviously there's a zillion pull tabs and pennies and things I didn't show you, but here's a 48 nickel. So yeah, I'm kind of hitting some a little bit older stuff. Let's see what happens. Look, I got me a little heart stud. Man, I'm getting so good at these studs, it's crazy. I used to never find these things. But then I wasn't using a Mine Lab Equinox either, was I? Boom. Now well, that was ringing up sweet. <laughs> That's like a Toyota keychain, I guess. Man, I thought I had it. I dug this deep hole, thought I was going to get silver. <laughs> I got a regular penny. But, did get me some sort of fancy snap or button in there. It's inlaid with something. It's kind of cool. Okay, I got myself a Wheatie 1941. Man, I was not expecting that on that signal. Not at all. I guess that's why you dig it all, guys. Another stud. It's crazy. Come on, let's get a good one. Why are these always junk? Man, I think I've only dug like just a couple good studs ever. Okay, quarter. All right, I kind of heard this uh, seven on top. And look, I got a ring. Wisdom. Yeah, I think that's going to be stainless. But, heck, it's a ring. No, what does that say? No. Hold on. Yeah, it actually says 316L stainless steel. So, boom. All right, let's see what else we can get. Well, I thought I'd hit the volleyball court just for fun. Just got in here. Here's a little stud. Another junker. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I just got. <laughs> so I'm just like right along the edge of the net. Just got me another stud. I almost thought I saw some writing on this one. Yeah, it's probably just wishful thinking. Let's see what else we can get. So look at that. That's crazy. I just found this, which was like the gem off of an earring maybe or something. Look how small that is. That was ticking. It was like a little eight. Okay, looks like I got me a little bracelet. I don't even know what I'm still doing in here, to be honest. I guess I'm just intrigued on how much little jewelry I've missed in the past. Because, you know, I'm starting to learn these little tick sounds. This is like a tick and ten chain with a little teeny pendant on it, so. Probably an ankle, ankle bracelet. All right, so I'm here with my wife, my awesome, lovely wife. We're doing a swimming hole. Brad's here. First target. You got me a ring. Whoa, <laughs> get out of here. Ah, my wife's trying the whole finders keepers stuff. Now that is a cool ring. I do not know what this is. No, it's got a mark. Ooh, that might fit my thumb. Let's 
You can't tell. Well, they know I'm blood. Are you recording? Yeah. What are you recording? Oh, well, I can edit it <laughs> right now. I'm just. All right, I don't know what this is. It kind of looks, looks like silver, but it didn't ring like silver. And it does say something that's like laser etched. So I'll have to read that and look down right now. I'll tell you what it was. Okay, so I finally got home where I could get to my loop to verify. And all day I was like, I don't know what this is. Titanium tungsten here's the crazy part this is tungsten and so it says tungsten in the ring and then it's circled that there's also 14k which is obviously that band that goes all the way around it so for some reason they inlaid gold in a tungsten ring but either way i got some gold baby Okay, got a nice high time here. Bringing as high as a 30. Whoa! Brad's got a ring. Let's see what I got. We'll go look at his. Got me a quarter. All right, let's go see what it Brad says got. On it. Can't read it. Like, looks like it says SP or something. Whoa, what do we got here? Like right close to the other little stones, looks like it says like SP or something. So here's what Brad got. You think it says JS? Just silver? <laughs> just silver. I think it's junk. <laughs> Unfortunately, it just seems light. Junk to me. stone. But hey, we're here. <laughs> we leave. How many signals you got so far? Two? That I've actually pulled something out with that chunk of metal in this one. Yeah, so, geez. I've only pulled out a couple things. I got a ring. Brad's got a ring. This is going well. See what we can get. So, I don't know. This says cryovac on it. I almost wonder if this is a like a bird tag. I'll have to look that up later. All right, there hasn't been a ton of sounds, but there's a pin. Okay, we got a 24 here. No idea what it is. Yeah, piece of trash. Okay, got me a quarter. We gotta figure this out, cause like, that should have been awesome in there. I really think it's, it's all downstream somewhere. What I'd like to do one of these days is like get a stretch of river that's like two or three miles. I'll park one vehicle up at the top and one at the bottom. And we'll just wade downstream just detecting the whole time, just zigzagging around wherever we can go and see if we can come up with something. Might learn a lot by that. All right, we got a high tone here. Let's do a live dig. Probably a quarter. There's a chance it's a silver ring. Probably a quarter. Oh, 
<laughs> neither one. Some sort of handle thingy. Crazy. Got me a sheriff's car. <laughs> Boom. Boy, that sure sounded good. All right, we bounce to a new river beach. And my first target is a quarter. Water's real low. This could be pretty awesome. Well, I just dug two quarters. I didn't show you. And then this nickel. They're all pretty much in the same spot. And another nickel. Geez, that's three nickels and two quarters in the same area. But I usually dig that many nickels in a row. All right, that's four nickels in a row. This is just getting weird. Okay, so I dig, dig a, like a penny and some sinkers, and now another nickel. And that's like my ninth nickel. How weird is that? Looks like I got a British penny, 2010. Right here on the bank in Montana. That's a weird one. It's British or Canadian? It's British, I think. Because it says ye old penny? Uh, I don't, I don't know if it's, Maybe you should check that again. I'm pretty sure that's British, not Canadian. All the naysayers around me. Got too many editors of this program. Here, come dig this one. My scoop's not powerful <laughs> enough. <laughs> you know what, I've, I've got a few quarters, but <laughs> I guess I'm just filming these nickels just because this is crazy. Finally. I got enough dimes for a lifetime. Looks like silver. Does it? Oh, I should have brought my glasses. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it does. It looks like part of a bracelet. I found it. Let me see. Right on the surface. 